Hi guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to my channel. But today I'm going to be talking about another horrible experience that I had with Anthem, aka my health insurance. And I'm going to get into the video. So for background purposes, I have a pair of foot orthotics that I have to wear for my spina bifida. And you may be thinking, oh, I've seen stuff like that at running stores or the grocery store. You know, why not get them there? So the thing is, is that those are more catered to people that aren't disabled and just need something for a little extra support. Especially with sporting goods stores, it's more for people that do sports. Whereas these are custom tailored for my disability, which is very imperative because it addresses multiple things whereas most inserts only address one particular need, whereas these can address multiple needs. Also, my orthotist does not bill for foot orthotics anymore because a lot of people have said that their insurance, health insurance covers it, when in reality they didn't and they were getting screwed over. And it's such a shame that America's healthcare system would do something like that. It needs to change and these need to be covered. So before I even made the appointment, I gave health insurance a call and I asked if the provider and the foot orthotics were covered, which I've had the same plan and the same health insurance ever since I got my first pair of foot orthotics and my AFOs and They've always been covered and in network, but you just want to check to be sure. I was told that both the provider and foot orthotics were covered. I got my foot orthotics and I got everything that I needed when I picked them up to go submit the claim to health insurance because I told them that they cover it but they didn't care, which I'm completely fine with because they've never treated me like garbage. They're phenomenal people, so therefore I don't mind doing the work for them. Now, if they would have treated me like garbage, I would have demanded that they did the work, but they're phenomenal. So I submitted the claim and waited four to six weeks for it to process, which it typically doesn't take that long. However, health insurance just likes to cover their basis. I then decided to give them a call and I gave them a call and I asked for a claim status update on my foot orthotics. And the guy's like, I can look at that, you know, I'll place you on hold if that's okay. And I said, that's fine. So he did and I heard the waiting room music. And then after that, he comes back on and he says, ma'am, the place you used is not network. Keep in mind, I've gotten my first pair of foot orthotics, my AFOs and any tune-ups through them. And I've had zero issues up until now. I said, hold on, let me take a look. So my health insurance has like a patient portal it's called sydney health and i took a look on there and you can search for a provider and it'll basically tell you if they're in network or not and i said sir i'm literally looking at my health insurance patient portal and it specifically states that they are in network and he's like oh well let me take a look again can i place you on hold I said, yes. So he places me on hold for like another three to four minutes. And this time he comes back and says, ma'am, upon checking, it seems that you submitted the claim yourself. Is that correct? And I said, yes. And he goes, that's the problem. When a member submits the claim, that means that it's out of network. But upon checking here, you're right. And they are in network. So you need to have the doctor submit the claim. I said, my orthotist does not bill for foot orthotics anymore and told me if I wanted to go through health insurance, I had to submit the claim myself. And she said, if they happen to be covered and in network, it'll all go towards my in-network deductible if I haven't met it. Just because I had to submit the claim myself doesn't mean that it's out of net. He goes, okay, can I place you on a brief hold and take a look at something else? And I said, yeah, go ahead. So he places me on hold again. And then he comes back and says, ma'am, upon checking your coverage, foot orthotics are not covered. And I said, you're right. They're not covered if they're used for sports purposes, like, 
you know, to help with a sport or to help recover from an injury, etc. However, I have spina bifida, which is a physical disability, and they're covered for people that have physical disabilities. And I literally spoke to you guys before I made the appointment to get these and were told that they were covered and the place I was using was in network. And then he goes, ma'am, do you want me to send you your certificate of coverage? Which basically states, you know, what's covered and what's not covered under my insurance. And I said, yes, please. He's like, okay, what's your email? And I told him my email and he's like, okay, can I place you on a brief hold while I send it to you? And I said, yes, please. So he then puts me back on the line and says to turn to page 78. So under what's not covered, under 37, like number 37, because they have it all listed out in numerical order. And I'm going to pop it up right here so you can see it too. But it specifically states foot orthotics. Foot orthotics, orthopedic shoes, or footwear or support items unless used for a systematic illness affecting the lower limbs, such as severe diabetes. He basically said they're not covered. I said, so upon reading here, you're right. And it says foot orthotics, orthopedic shoes, or footwear support are not covered unless used for a systematic illness affecting the lower limbs, such as severe diabetes, which is exactly what spina bifida is. It's a lower limb disability that is systematic. And if you would have taken a look at the claim that I'm trying to submit, it specifically states that or something to that effect. But spina bifida is a systematic illness affecting the lower limbs. He goes, no, it has to be diabetes. And I said, no, it's such as if you read the statement. And that means it could be anything other than diabetes that's a lower limb disability, that's systematic. So him and I were going back and forth like this for a while. And I said, sir, I literally have the same plan and the same health insurance when I got my first pair of foot orthotics in 2021 and I went to the same people and they were covered in a network. He's like, when did you get them? I'm like, I got them in July of 2021, but they probably didn't get the claim approved till August. He's like, okay, can I place you on a brief hold while I take a look at it? Because I couldn't backtrack that far because we had to get new health insurance cards with new IDs, so I couldn't see. And I said, yeah, go ahead. He placed me on hold and took a look and said they're covered in a network and nothing's changed with their plan. So therefore these should be covered in a network. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair the old and the new claim together, submit them to insurance, explain the situation, and then it'll take four to six weeks for them to approve of it. And I said, thank you. And afterwards, you know, typically Anthem will say like, Chloe, if I did a good job, you know, could you fill out the survey, blah, blah, blah. He literally didn't mention any of that, which makes me think that he knew well that he had screwed up. So I rest my case there. Now you may be thinking, why do you keep on talking about this? So first off, it's not the only thing I talk about on my channel. Also, number two is because we need to be holding health insurance accountable because there are a lot of people out there that are unable to do this stuff like I am because either A, they don't have the knowledge or B, they may have a disability that impairs them to do so or they're elderly and they keep on getting screwed over or some people are just one and done people and give up. But we can't have that happen and we cannot keep having health insurance be greedy. We have to continue sticking up for what's right. And I, if I'm the only one that does it, then so be it. And if mine is the only voice, then again, so be it. And that's it. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye.